Welcome back to Secret Weapons, and today we're taking a look at the Walrus Audio Fundamental Ambient Reverb. Walrus Audio casts a wide net in the effect world. Everything from overdrives, distortions, and fuzzes through power supplies, utility and reamp boxes, and their own line of Mako series stereo MIDI capable big box style devices. If you ask anybody what their favorite Walrus pedal is, you could get a different answer from every person. But I think that if you ask a lot of people what they think Walrus Audio is really good at and what their standout stuff is, I think you're going to hear about reverb a lot more frequently. The slow, slowed foot and stereo are fan favorites. The Walrus Audio ambient offerings are just really strong. And so to that end, it's very fitting and very inspiring that the first new fundamentals release from their budget line of pedals is the Fundamental Ambient, a three mode, three parameter mono reverb pedal that sounds way better than it costs. I feel like I phrased that weird, but you know what I mean. This is an incredibly affordable piece of gear with three really good reverb algorithms in it. And we're not talking like good for a cheap pedal. We're talking straight up good sounding reverbs. I have been playing with these through my Von Gun Replay synthesizer, through my guitar into the front of a silk tone amp with a lot of great clean headroom. And I am just really taken with how quickly and how easily I can pull massive lush soundscapey music beds out of the fundamental ambience. Like I said, this is very straightforward. You have decay, tone, and mix on sliders that kind of go from minimum to maximum and they notch in the center which is quite nice and then you have uh, three modes you have deep lush and haze deep is going to be they're all going to be ambient reverbs but deep is going to be this really gentle ambient reverb with a low octave mixed into your wet channel the uh, lush mode is going to have a little bit more modulation, incredibly long decay times, and just a generally really nice pad atmosphere to it. And haze is going to be what I'm gonna say is your least ambient of the three modes. The tone control on it functions as more of a tilt EQ, in my opinion, kind of like cuts lows when you kind of push it high, and vice versa when you cut it low, kind of brings out that low end a little more forwardly than other ones do. But it also has a kind of like resonant ladder filter to it and has kind of a lo-fi, low sample rate grittiness to the reverb that allows it to kind of sit behind your guitar signal a little bit more easily, but also offers a little bit more in the way of texture and a little bit of kind of tactile multi-tap diffusion at certain settings, which is quite nice. You'll hear them during the sound sample. They are three great sounding algorithms that would be at home in any standard pricing ambient reverb from basically any company in this space. So at 130 bucks, this is a really great bargain for somebody looking for a little bit more giant lush ambience in their signal, but they don't want to kind of break the bank going for it. So let's listen to this on guitar, and then we're gonna do some synth based into a stereo widening tool to use the fundamental ambient as the kind of like bedrock of giant wide sound design stuff at the end. So let's get into it. As always, before we get into our sound samples, let's talk through our signal chain and the context we are working in. I am playing my Music Man St. Vincent Goldie into the 29 Pedals Yuna, the Origin FX Cali 76 compressor, the Benson Germanium Boost, the Bondi Sick As, and the Benson Germanium Preamp. From there, we go to the Strymon El Capistan for delay and the Walrus Fundamental Ambient, and then out to our amplifier, which is a Silk Tone amp running into the Universal Audio Aux. Our dry tone is going to consist of the 29 pedals Yuna, the Cali 76 compressor, and the Germanium Boost, keeping everything basically at unity volume hitting the amplifier, but just offering some kind of sweetness and sustain and dynamic control. <laughs> This is Walrus Audio's Fundamental Ambient Reverb. We've got all of our sliders in the noon center position, and we're gonna start on the octave down deep mode.
let's go ahead and start with our mix slider going from full dry all the way up to full wet. <laughs> As you can hear, that octave is at a fixed mix within the kind of uh, reverb regeneration, uh, comfortably below noon, which is nice. So even in these full wet pads, you're not getting an overwhelming amount of low end. You can hear on the high notes. That, that octave down is fairly subtle, which is quite nice. In this full wet, full wet kind of mode, let's go ahead and open that tone completely up. Then mix that tone back into a 50-50 uh, split and kind of walk through that. Let's widen that all the way up, go to that full wet again, and then use that to kind of walk through our decay times. Uh, there is no short decay times in the ambient reverb, which is unsurprising. So like our shortest is going to be about two seconds of, of, uh, of decay time. Obviously, you can shorten that up by dampening that treble. But not by much. Thank you. 
and straight into ambience. borderline infinite. And it'll just hang for a while like this. Okay, let's reset these to noon and jump to from deep over to lush. So this is going to be kind of our big, long, gently modulated pad reverb.
this one will actually just last forever. Unless you roll the tone back. That actually might still need you just open it back up. And finally, we have a somewhat resonant uh, lo-fi reverb in haze. Let's open it all the way up for now. This is going to give you the driest of the kind of like three reverbs in here, the least kind of like straight up ambient, but also the one with maybe the most kind of character, which is nice. As you can hear, this one has a little bit more of a filter built into the uh, tone control where you kind of like scoop out lows or highs relative to the position. So let's kind of bring in like a full uh, bar chord. And hear how you can sweep to have it accentuate the high side of the chord. Or the low side. Taking a look at the fundamental ambience in a context other than just a mono reverb into the front of an amplifier. We have our Von Gaughan replay synthesizer set up running directly into the fundamental ambient and then mono into the hologram chroma console where we run out in stereo to our DAW. Uh, we have 
the Chroma Console set, basically set up with just the doubler effect uh, with mix at zero right now, so we will sweep it in later. But let's basically play through a couple of kind of menacing chords here, heavily accentuate them with the ambient, and then kind of create a wide uh, kind of soundscape with the Chroma Console and kind of bring in and out the ambient to kind of showcase how a like early in chain, really lush reverb can do a lot for kind of becoming glue to the actual dry origin signal that processes through big stereo effects like this. So uh, here is the synth by itself. And now deep mode, mix it almost completely full, tone slightly rolled off with some heavy decay. Let's go ahead, bring in that stereo widening. And again, that same sound without the fundamental ambient. And now let's just do some uh, sound design with that fundamental ambience. Let's move it to lush mode. And we'll just start kind of playing with some Chroma Console stuff with kind of treating the reverb and the synth like they're one unit here. <laughs> 